here with AJ Tarpley after Stanford practice, and how's this camp been for you so far? It's been good, uh, you know, getting back at it with all the guys. Uh, we have, you know, big goals this year, but it's been good to be out here. We're definitely still making mistakes, but we've been getting better every day, and that's all that matters. So you came in a few years ago as a pretty unheralded recruit that then played a bit in 2011, and then last year it was almost like all of a sudden uh, he kind of burst onto the scene, talked about as an NFL prospect. Was there kind of a moment when the light came on for you and when – everything really clicked? Uh, yeah, you know, I'd say it was probably two years ago. Uh, I think it was my third or third or so start against USC, and uh, I played pretty well that game. And that was, that was sort of the moment when I knew I could play with all, you know, the big-time guys. But uh, I try and come in, you know, every season with the same goals, same idea of getting better every day. And I don't really think of it as, you know, there was a sudden moment where I got better. It just kind of happened to get my chance. Looking back at last season, is there a moment, a, a game, a play that really – I guess resonates and sticks out to you is particularly uh, memorable. Um, you know, I get for moments. You know, you could say the Oregon game uh, as a defense. You know, that play when Devin Carrington ran down uh, Marcus Mariota. You know, that was one of the moments when I kind of I thought to myself, you know, these guys are never going to quit. We're never going to quit no matter what. You know, anybody on our team, anybody could have you know stopped chasing him. He was out in front, but uh, Devin decided you know he wasn't going to let that happen. And uh, Scove and Josh Morrow come up on the big fourth down stop and that was I'd say the defining moment as far as our defense just seeing what we could do we face adversity and we're able to fight what is the biggest emphasis for you this camp uh, building off of last year just using my hands um, I got to keep trying you know some, some cutting you know movements and open space have really come you know a little bit naturally to me but uh, I've really been working on over the years using my hands on blockers uh, shedding blocks um, you know, playing against the wide receiver and tight ends, using my hands on those guys. So I'd say that's the biggest emphasis. Uh, so a lot of people laud your ability in pass coverage, kind of those movement skills that you were talking about. Uh, what do you think makes you so effective in pass coverage? Uh, I'd say my quickness. Um, I really pride myself on, you know, being one of the quickest guys out there. I want to be able to cover anybody from, you know, a six, seven tight end to a five, nine slot receiver. So, you know, I'd say that definitely helps. And just, you know, I, I've been working, you know, it's good when you get to play against guys guys like Ertz, Levine, Fleener, and then some of our receivers, and Andrew Luck, and all those guys on offense, so combination of that stuff. What's the biggest difference you've seen in Shane Scove uh, from last year to now? It, it's definitely his burst. Um, last year, you know, he was coming back, and it's a long road, you know, it's a tough injury, and he was still able to play at a high level, but he didn't have his uh, his true burst back, and this year, you know, right from day one, I think I saw it, um, he, was, he was playing pass coverage on a tight end, and he burst out of a cut, was able to get the pass break up and that's the thing that I think really he's come a long way this year you know he's feeling good he's ready to go what have you seen uh, from the young linebacker Kevin Palma what, what he's doing well what, there's still some area for improvement with yeah yeah you know the learning curve especially in this defense what we ask of those guys definitely high so they're gonna make mistakes um, but you know he's, he's a big kid and uh, he moves really really naturally he's strong um, he can get off blocks even though they're very big guys so that's, that's one thing where he's showing you know you can't blame him for the mistakes young guys are gonna make mistakes Stakes, but he's definitely coming along well. Blake Martinez, where has he taken the biggest step since his true freshman year? Just understanding the game. Um, you know, you can same thing with the learning curve. With him, he came in as a freshman, played for us on special teams and whatnot. But uh, it, it's a huge stride to make to this defense and what we ask of those guys. So, you know, he's he's definitely learning. You know, we try and help as much as we can, but he's also good at things and he, he can do what he needs to do. Who is the hardest tight end for you to cover on offense? Um, right now, you know, I, I don't know. They all, they're all doing well. You know, they don't have any. Just because you know we did have some talented guys in the past doesn't mean that these guys don't have big goals as well. But uh, you know, they all, they all have uh, their special teams. You know, Luke is a bigger guy, harder to you know, get around on the shorter routes post blocking out guys um, Chuck uh, he's good he, he'll, he'll go get the ball you know he'll make grabs so they all have their specialties but you know um, yeah I mean they're, they're good yeah, and just finally uh, kind of the, the opposite of that but in terms of the, the run game is there a particular offensive lineman that you just can't seem to shed his block when you're trying to make a tackle oh uh, you know I, I always joke about with the Yankee you know we always had some good some good battles in there he's, he's very good with his hand you know being an all-american everybody knows how good he is um, Andrus is excellent as well, you know, Cam Fleming, I'd say for me, is the hardest just because, you know, he's he's massive, yeah, he's absolutely massive, and when he gets his hands on you, I'd say he's the hardest to get off. Uh, thanks, AJ.